Well, this is the only place where you have a collection of all of the global, all of the regulators on uh, the, the sector from around the world. We have, what, over 130 regulators this year, 130 countries represented, over 700 people. This is the largest GSR ever. There are more people from more countries. And so this is, I mean, clearly the place to have conversations among all the regulators. And why is that important? Because, you know, every country has similar issues, but they all deal with them in slightly different ways. So it's a unique opportunity for regulators to learn from each other. And then as the GSR has evolved over the last five years, the participation by sector members, people like from the private sector, uh, as well as uh, uh, NGOs, we're here now as well. And so there's an opportunity for the conversations between the private sector, government officials, and the regulators. And this is unique. It's in no other place does this happen. The, the UN Broadband Commission, which of course is co-chaired by uh, Secretary General Hamadoun Torre, um, is something that we think is very important. We've been participating in, in the Broadband Commission from the very beginning. One of our key recommendations at the Broadband Commission was that every country should have a national broadband plan. So one of the things that we've done in partnering with the ITU uh, and the Broadband Commission Secretariat is we actually have done a study to examine, does it make a difference if you have a national broadband plan? And the short answer is yes, it really does. Now, you know, we have all had anecdotal evidence. We all feel in our hearts that having a national broadband plan makes a difference. But, but what we did was we had 10 years of uh, data, 165 countries, and we built a model. It's called a panel regression model. Um, and actually, it, it is statistically significant. It is very significant. Uh, if, you, if you're a country with a national broadband plan, your broadband adoption is dramatically higher, especially with mobile broadband. So that, the question, does it make a difference? Absolutely, it makes a difference. Um, there are some other findings uh, that I think are extremely important. Uh, number one, the world is so dynamic, the sector is so dynamic, that one of the findings is that it's important to have a periodic review of your national broadband plan. You can't just have a plan and make it static. It evolves. Extremely important. Um, an additional finding, that the, the role of government is to set out a vision but we found that in virtually all of the instances, the major investments, the major building out of a national broadband infrastructure is coming from the private sector. So it's truly a partnership between government and the private sector, setting out the vision and then executing on it and building national broadband, uh, broadband plans. Um, and then maybe a, a third really important finding is that competition matters. What we found was that where there's competition, there is a, again, dramatically uh, greater broadband adoption than where there is no competition. So these are empirical findings. Uh, by the way, none of these are surprises, right? We all sort of believe this, but having real data and real analysis and empirically proving the causal relationships here um, extremely powerful. So this is something that we believe very strongly in and that's why we, we did this with the ITU, we co-sponsored this, we worked very closely with the Commission Secretary in the ITU and why we felt it was so important that we actually um, do the study in the first place. Yeah, so some of the top line issues I think that have come up in the last couple of days um, people are calling Regulation 4.0. I'm not quite sure what the first three are, but um, my takeaway from this is that uh, there's a recognition that this is a very dynamic market. So there's a recognition that you know, we can't have regulation that's static. And in fact, there was a lot of discussion today about light touch regulation and regulation to foster investment, regulation to promote innovation, regulation that actually creates a framework for the private sector to invest and provide services. At the same time, we had, I thought, a really great discussion about universal service. 
How do we fill the gaps and make sure that the people who are unserved get served? How do we make sure that you know, we have the benefits of ICT available and broadband available to everyone? So there's a role for the private sector, there's a very important role for government, but what I'm taking away is that there's a real recognition that it's the partnership between government, the regulators, and the private sector working together. Oh, you know me, I'm an optimist. Yeah, the short answer is absolutely optimistic for the future. Um, and that, one of the other sessions, by the way, that I found really interesting was the session on investment. Uh, we had uh, people from the investment community, we had operators, we had regulators, we had uh, people who, you know, technology companies, uh, and it was a great debate about what's the right environment to attract the investment that we're gonna need to build out the networks, build new services, build applications. Uh, and by the way, an important part of this based upon some other work that we've done on national broadband plans is on the demand side. It's capacity building, it's education, um, it's educating people how to be able and benefit from, how to use and benefit from, uh, from the technologies. So, uh, you know, I really think that this, this year's GSR so far has been great because it's been asking hard questions. There's been some real debate um, and people are doing it also with a good sense of humor. <laughs>